Hello and welcome to a Be Smart About Heart monthly webinar video recap. My name is Susan Mumford and I am founder of Be Smart About Heart. We provide inspiration, training and support to foster creative and professional success for individuals and organizations in the art world. As we say, art is your life, make it your living. Our guest speaker today is N.K. Sima. Hello. Hi. Everyone. In the world. And I'm going to give you just a bit of background mm -hmm. as to why she's sitting here as the expert in this particular session as an international gallerist. And then I have got three key questions to ask you on the subject. Okay. So she's an international gallerist. Hailing from Dallas, Texas, she has lived in Chicago, New York, London, and beyond. She is co-director of the Decorism Gallery with her husband, Ugo, and they exhibit around the globe. She's also an accomplished photographer in her own right. Since Autumn Malone, she is staging exhibitions and fairs in New York, Dallas, London, and Miami. And other times, she'll be exhibiting in places like Singapore and Hong Kong. In this very webinar, she's going to be telling you about her transition from a traditional bricks and mortar space mm -hmm. in Dallas, Texas, to having multiple locations around the world in the sense that she's not tied to a single space. Her aim is to give you insight into how you too can embrace this 21st century digital gallery model. Whether you are an art dealer, gallerist, and pit curator, even an artist who's adjusting to a changed landscape or another, another kind of professional in the creative industry, we have got a changing world right now and MK has very much embraced it. Right, first of the yes, three have. questions, mm -hmm. then, what are some pros and cons of changing from a bricks and mortar gallery to a virtual gallery business? Well, the pro, the number one pro is you don't have rent. Now, but, and what's great is you get to funnel all of that budget into more marketing or international art fairs, yeah. things like that. And so that's the number one is lower overhead. Um, for me, not being tied to gallery store hours. I, I really enjoy being able to prioritize my days uh, by what we need to do and weeks by what needs to be done and, and not have to take so much gallery hours into into consideration mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, I have to be there. I can't leave until this this time. It's kind of a, a drive now. I think if I opened the space now, it would be probably by appointment. <laughs> well, uh, you, you've become so used to this different model. What else? Exactly. I love having the flexibility to do the art fairs mm -hmm. all around the world. That's what we really like, and um, and meet new people and tap into their their markets. They're expanding exciting markets all over this world right now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And what about those cons as well? Well, <laughs> I would say the number one cons, or the top, my top cons, um, to not having an, a, a, a permanent space would be needing to always find solutions for meeting clients and showing artwork, mm. and, and also storing your inventory because that's an important thing to do. So I'll go to the first thing I mentioned and say that um, showing showing artwork and finding solutions, is, there are a couple things you can do for that. Um, obviously, there are many places to meet. Using colleagues' galleries is, are great. Mm -hmm. Having pop-up spaces are wonderful. Uh, showing, using it as a time when you do come to a new city to say, hi, I'm in London, definitely come yeah. see me at the fair. It will make people come out and see you because they know that this time is limited and mm. to, to see you and see the work. Uh, a little bit more urgency there. And as far as showing and st or storing the artwork, I should say the inventory, having a great art storage and somebody who can actually help handle that too is really key. I know here in London, we have a fantastic um, work with some fantastic shippers and customs breakers who also double is helping to manage my inventory and that's been super helpful. Oh, well, definitely. And yeah. um, then what are several of your top tips for being based between, in your case, several different mm. locations around the globe? Well, let's see, um, suppliers. Um, 
your suppliers are very important, and this includes everybody from your delivery people, logistics, the customs brokers, the shippers, the storage, to the framers. Mm -hmm. um, logistics are very important. Framing tends to be very important. And, um, it, you know, um, get recommendations from other colleagues mm -hmm. for these types of people. And, and, and use and and use them. So uh, other other top tips, you know, have a mailing address, have a local phone number, and always carry a drill in your checked luggage. And remember, <laughs> take a battery out <laughs> because if the if the airplane senses any movement while it's in the air, they will actually land the plane. So I was always told. And always take and always take a checked baggage. Too. So where does the battery go? Take it out of the drill. Separate them. And that's it. Separate them. Different parts of the luggage. Interesting. That's, you have to do that. Okay. Well, for anyone doing art fairs around the globe, mm -hmm. that is most certainly a top tip for you. That's a serious one, definitely. I oh yes, always remember that. And I always say always check a piece of luggage as well. Well, first of all, you can't carry on the drill or any other tools really. Mm -hmm. But I say check a bag because inevitably you will be carrying all kinds of tools, most likely, and um, and you also be maybe carrying more things than you realize and some artwork and you never know. You know. Go on and check a bag. That's a I think that's a great thing to do. Yes, same mm -hmm. on shipping. Now, what would you like to leave with the audience, many of whom are considering or already mm -hmm. transitioning into this type of business model? What do they really need to know about working from anywhere in the world? Um, at, at this moment, anything cyber oriented is very important. So we want to mm -hmm. have, make sure your your website is up to date mm -hmm. and be organized. Organization is very important and that not only falls from the realm of your digital files mm -hmm. and whatnot, which that's also very, very important. But, um, different programs like FileMaker Pro can be amazing, Dropbox, Clouds, uh, mm. things like this. But also yourself, when you're packing, keep yourself physically organized as you're in different locations. Maintain a positive attitude. And um, the positive attitude, a balanced spirit, make sure when you land places, you don't always sleep on the plane. Let yourself relax on the plane. Sometimes we have work to do on the plane. Sometimes you need to relax. But when you do get to destination, if you have time, let yourself unwind, catch up on your sleep before you get going and things are really full on. And, and, my, and my last one is, uh, which I think I mentioned before, always check piece, your piece of luggage. Don't think you're just gonna go with that carry-on and run to the airport and then realize that mm -hmm. you're never going to be able to Well, you realize that you've got your favorite perfume and you're going to have to get rid of it because you're not allowed to carry that much liquid. I mean, that would be terrible. Exactly. Or, or what about touch-up paint for, for sculpture or I mean, the, the drill, paint. the drill, which is Absolutely. extremely important or else we can't open those cakes when we get to the art fairs. So there we are. That was fantastic insight. Thank you very much, MK. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. And can I tell everyone where to come see me? Please, yes. DecorZoneGallery.com. Please uh, tune in, find out what we're doing, and, and feel free to contact us as well. That's D-E-C-O-R-A-Z-Z-O-N Gallery.com. And really do follow the gallery's progress as well, because they have now been going for a decade. And congratulations yeah. to yeah. MK and Ugo this year because that's a true success. They have now got this global business uh, doing art fairs everywhere and taking artists to, to all of these places. You know, they really have got quite an exciting program and the artists are getting into excellent locations. So really do sign up to the mailing list. You can continue to watch the progress. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Be Smart About Art.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and other social media platforms at Be Smart about art. Thank you very much for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed what you've seen today, be sure and share it with your own network. Thank you. And signing up from London. <laughs>